So we now begin in question seven. Uh, that says that the probability of a company obtaining contract A is 0 0.3, contract B 0 0.4, contract C 0 0.6. If the company obtains none or only one of these contracts, it will be for D with 0 0.8 probability of obtaining it. What is the probability that the company will obtain? So when you read a question like that, as you see the other day, you will begin by coming up with a sketch. So the sketch is we apply for A, we get it or we miss it. Thereafter, we apply for B, we get it or we miss it. We get it or we miss. Thereafter, we apply for C, we apply for C, we get or release, we get or release, we get or release it. Then D, you are only applying uh, if you have gotten just one or zero. So here we are not going to apply, even here, even here, but here now we are going to apply for D, which we get or release. Here we will not because we already have two. Here we shall apply because we have only one. We get or we miss. Even here we apply, get or miss. Even here we apply, we get or we miss it. So with that now, we can be able to come up with a, with a fair copy. That is a sketch. And this is how you will check. Eh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that means we are going to have uh, twelve tails. We're going to have twelve tails. So we we'll start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 there. So, for this one, I have B there. And is D That is about C. Then here,
So this is contract A, you get or you miss it. This is B, you get or you miss it. B, you get or you miss it. C, you get or you miss. Then this is B, you get it or you miss. The probability of getting a A is 0 0.3, B is 0 0.4, and C is 0 0.6, and B is 0 0.8.
through eh? okay uh, are you able to answer uh, it does. It does. so the first question is saying just a and b so just a and b it is the probability that you get a and get b but you miss c So there you say 0 0.3 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.4. Uh, when they tell you at least A and B, it means you get A, you get B, you get C as you get A, you get B, you miss C. So this is 0 0.3 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 plus 0 0.3 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.4. At least A and B. When you are told at least A and B, it means B on A and B or more. That's why it will be on the C. Uh, then uh, C and B, the probability of getting C and B it means you miss A, you miss B, but you get C and you get B. So missing A is 0 0.7 here, yeah. is 0 0.7. Uh, missing B is 0 0.6. And missing C is or getting C is 0 0.6 and D is 0 0.8. 0 0.8. That is C and D. Just C, it means it is the probability we miss A, we miss B, we get C, but we miss D. So this is 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.2 0 0.6. Why 0.6? Oh, you have got a name. You have got a C. It's 0.6. And just B, it means you miss A, you get 
B, sorry, you miss B also. You miss C, but you get B. So this is 0 0.7 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.8. Yeah. Now, on your own, I suggest that you handle question uh, eight. Question eight is like this one, eh? like this one. The only difference is that now this one is like a B. I don't know if you So you are not a B. Yeah. That's the difference. E and I end up with two of them. Then we just have some probabilities together with the, this question in the past prepared that was tested. This was tested in September 2015, question 5A. September 2015, question 5A. September 2015, question 5A. Uh, the next thing that we look at is called uh, mutations. Uh, mutation. A mutation. Right, that this is a technique used. This is a technique used to determine the number of different ways, determine the number of different ways in which N, in which N different items and different items can be arranged in any order can be arranged in any order while selecting R while selecting R items at a time. So it is computed as NPR is equals to N factorial N minus R factorial. This sign here is called factorial notation. Factorial notation. So since your syllabus is not very deep as far as these ones are concerned, I will confine it to the use of calculators. So that we are using calculator, using a calculator, first of all, if you are told three factorial, it means three times two times one. So that will be what? Six. Now I want to take your calc. 
and identify where you can see this sign on the body. Are you able to see it? Now, if you are able to see it, is on the body still like our button. So you press three, then you press shift, you press that button where there is that factorial and press equals. Does it give you six? I give me seven factorial. You press seven shift. Fifty forty. Yeah, so if you are told to do sixteen factorial, in factorial, copy the rate has come out. Copy the rate has come out. Yeah, so that is good enough for us as far as, uh, oh, I need to give you a mutation, sir. Eh? Yeah. Now check in the calc whether you can see the button that is written NPR. As NPR, it is also on the body, that's all. Yeah, so if it is on the body, that means you will be shifting. Yeah? So if you are told to give us three, Permute three, what you do, press shift, press three, then you shift, you press that button, then you press three and press the course. You get what? Six. If you are told to give us a uh, 10 permute four, you press 10, shift, permute four equals. Oh, how many? 50, 40 or so. If you are told to give us a uh, 15, permute 10. 15, permute 10. Hmm? Go very huge. Time something. Okay, copy the range has come out. Copy to the range. Sorry, calc. Okay, let's now look at the next that is called combination. Combination. Combination and write that this is a technique used to determine. This is a technique used to determine the number of different ways, the number of different ways in which n items in which n items can be arranged, can be arranged in a particular order, in a particular order. I'm sorry, I think there is a mistake. Uh, can be arranged in any order, in any order, can be arranged in any order, selecting all items at a time, selecting all items at a time. Good. What is something what we have written about computation? If you say in any order, without regard to 
I think we should have seen in a particular order. So for the for the permutation, there is order in a particular order. Combination to in a order. Okay. So like the formula n combined r is uh, n factorial divided by r factorial n minus r factorial. So now you can also see the pattern that is written in here. So if you can now give me three combined three. Now that one, that one you go on top of the pattern, so you don't need to shift it. So it's giving us one. And uh, give me ten combined four. I do the same, 15 combined 10. And after that, you read question number nine. I'll be back. So.
So if you are told there must be one from each category, one from each category, what that means is eh, we want one production and one purchase and one sales and one account. So if you are choosing one person from production, production has three persons. So it is three combined one. And when we say add, it means multiply eh? this one. From purchase, we have six guys. So six choose one. And from sales, we have uh, two. So from two, choose one. And one, choose one. So just put them in the card that way. It will give you the answer, the last, the final answer. It is that is six. Now this is the desire, and this is the uh, the possible. You get it like this. The possible is uh, if you if you add this, uh, they are going to be twelve. So from twelve, we choose a committee of four guys. Twelve, we choose a committee of four guys. Four ninety-five. So, how do we get the probability? The probability we know it is always the desire or the possible. So that is thirty-six out of four ninety-five. Thirty-six out of four ninety-five. That's how you get the probability. Okay, the next one is uh, we are told it should have at least one from purchase department. So if you are looking for at least one from purchase, our desire is eh, one purchase and three others three others, all one, no, not one, two parties and two others, and two others. And, so not at all, three parties and one, one other. And four parties, not add, this is all. All four parties and zero other. Zero add. So, uh, from parties, we have six guys. So we'll say six, choose one. And now that we have a total of six guys, how on the back is six? So choose three from there. Plus six combine two. And six also choose two. All six choose three. And six choose one. All 
six choose four and six get zero. So put them in the calc that way, all of them. Six combined one times six combined three plus the end of evil. Four, four, eight, one. Then our possible is uh, from the 12, we choose four, and this is what we had earlier on, we got it as 495. Therefore, it follows that our probability should be four into one, to divide by Uh, the chartered accountant must be in the committee. So if you are told the chartered accountant must be in the committee, the chartered accountant must be in the committee. That one is very simple because you are not told in our nails who should be in the committee. Now the accountant is just one. So it is one accountant and three others, one accountant and three others. So from the accountant who is one, we combine one, and now from the 11 others, we choose three. From the 11 others, we get three. One six five. So the probability then will be one six five out of four ninety five. So that is how you get probabilities using combinations. Uh, you will have to question 10 and 11, they are on combinations. Question 10 and 11. The next thing that you need to look at is about the expected values. Variance and coefficient of variation. Efficient of variation. Now here our focus will be on continuous data. And therefore, question 12, you shall do on your own. It is part of this descriptive statistics. We came across those things. So I don't need to repeat that. 
So for question 13, we are told an investor has 100 available to purchase shares in either chemical brewing companies. His broker has provided him with the following estimates uh, for the likely returns over the next 12 months. So we are given the possible annual returns, the probability, and then we are told what are the expected returns. Uh, in that question, we are going to start by coming up with the analysis tables. <clears throat> analysis table uh, for brewers. We start with the, uh, we can start with chemicals. Chemicals for Kwanzaa. So starting with chemicals, we'll have annual returns, annual returns. So these annual returns, they will be our X size. They are our X size. Then we will have probability. Probability is probability of XI. Then you will have XI multiplied by probability of XI. Then we'll have XI minus X bar. You square this, you multiply by probability of XI. So we have minus 20, minus 10, we have zero, we have 10, 20, 30, and 40. The probabilities are 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. 0.2 as well, and 0 0.05. So after you prepare that, I would like you to give me the total down here for this color model, this one. This one should, uh, so we are saying total. This one should be one.
Ajá, doctora Japa, ¿me pasa? Bueno. Now, down there, Sasa, you know the chico, and you can be expected value. Expected value. Now, this expected value is given as E in bracket X, which is also X bar, and is given as sum of XI. You multiply by probability of XI. And this is the one that we have gotten 12. That's how you get the expected value. Just multiply the probabilities with the values. Now, to put your half up, it's the same uh, minus 20, minus 12. The answer is square. Then you multiply by 0 0.05. Uh, minus 10, minus 12. The answer is square, you multiply by 0 0.1. When the name of the 40 minus 12, you square, multiply by 0 0.05. You give me the total down there. Total 
So now we compute values. So delta square is given as sum of xi minus x bar square multiplied by this. Uh, and this is the one, but it's giving us 246. They ask you to get the standard deviation. Standard deviation. So delta is the square root of delta square. So 246. Hmm? 15.7. And uh, finally, coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation. CV is given as delta divided by the mean times 100. So this is 15.7. You divide by 12 times 100. Okay. 130.7 cents. So I suggest that on your own, you'll do a similar table like this one. Now for the brewers, eh? For the brewers, and you compute at this point. Then, uh, in the past papers, you had to November 2015. November 2015, question five. November 2015, question number five. That will be good. The next agenda is called uh, binomial probability distribution. Binomial probability distribution. This is a distribution used where this is a distribution used where. The following characteristics exist. Used where the following characteristics exist. Where the following characteristics exist. Number one. The experiment relates to a discrete variable. The experiment relates to a discrete variable. Number two, the experiment has only two 
possible outcomes. Only two possible outcomes. Still on that point to write that the desired outcome is called success. The desired outcome is called success. While the other outcome is called fame. While the other outcome is called fame. Three, the probability of success, bracket P, the probability of success, bracket P, and the probability of failure, bracket Q, bracket Q, the main constant, the main constant, in all the experiments, in all the experiments, and you write this formula: B plus Q is equals to one. B plus Q is equals to one. Four, the trials are independent of each other. Trials are independent of each other. And down the right. If the above characters are satisfied, the above characters are satisfied, the probability of getting X successes, probability of getting X successes, after undertaking N trials, after undertaking N trials, is computed as probability that X capital is X small is N combined X, P raised power X, Q raised power N minus X. X bar is given as NP. Standard deviation of variance is given as NPQ. So that is uh, how to work out binomial. So in our question number 15, we are told an old established firm has decided to go public. It has been reported that 80% of the stock broken firms are committing the issue to their clients. Assume that this report is true. And suppose six stock brokers are contracted at land. Find the probability that at least four of them are recommending the purchase of this issue to their clients. So first of all, you can see this is discrete because discrete refers to what we cannot express as decimals. So the brokers cannot be expressed as decimals. And uh, in solving that, we shall argue like this. Let success 
Now, success is what we desire. So our desire to be a what is the probability that four of them are recommending? So we desire those who are recommending. So success is recommend. That is what we desire. That is our desire. Then B, that is the probability of success. Those guys who are recommending, we are told they are 80%. So 0 0.8 of them are recommended. Uh, the trials and they are six. We are looking at six guys. Those are the trials. Now the excess, the success is X. Eh? We are told at least four. X is at least four. When you're told at least four, exactly what this means is eh? four or five or six. And because you already have the formula here with us, you will not repeat it again. So we just go straight and say probability that X is equal to four. It is going to be six, you combine four, multiply by 0 0.8, raised to our four, and maybe where I wrote P, I should also have written that Q is 0 0.2. So yeah. yeah. So multiply by Q, which is 0 0.2, raised to our two. That is n minus x. So put these figures in the calc and give me to four decimals or to five decimals. Six combined four times 0 0.4, 0 0.8 raised to power four times 0 0.2 raised to power two. Mm -hmm. Zero point. Two, four, five, eight. Okay. Probability that X is equal to five. X is equal to five is six combined five. Multiplied by 0 0.8 raised to the power 5, multiplied by 0 0.2 raised to the power 1. Three nine two. Probability that X is equal to six is six combined six multiplied by zero point eight to the power six multiplied by zero point two to the power six. Zero point two six to one. So therefore, when they say probability that x is greater than or equal to four, we are talking of uh, zero point two four five eight plus zero point three nine B two plus zero point two six to one.
zero point nine one one. Okay. I'm thinking of when we may need some makeups. I think we shall discuss either Sunday or something. Uh, we go to question number 16. A real estate salesperson estimates that 60% of the customers with whom he deals can qualify financially for a mortgage loan for the house of their choice. Determine the probability that the salesperson will process five loan applications before the approvals are obtained. So again, in that case, eh? Uh, the question is asking us to look for the approvals. So the approvals are our success. So we say that uh, what our success to be the approval. So P, the probability that someone can qualify, we are told they are 60%. So it then follows that Q should be 0 0.4. Should be 0 0.4. And uh, we are told that we process five applications. So that means our N is five. And after we process, we want to see what is the chance that we may get less than three. So X is before three. No, 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 before four, eh? They're saying, or oh, before three. So before three. So before three, we are simply saying it is zero or one or two. Those are the ones that are before three. So straight on then, probability that X is zero will then be five combined zero, multiplied by 0 0.6, you raise power zero, multiplied by 0 0.4, you raise power five. That way, probability that X is equal to one, it is five combined one, multiplied by 0 0.6 raised power one, multiplied by 0 0.4 raised to power 4, and probability that x is equal to 2, it is 5, you combine 2, multiplied by 0 0.6, you raise to power 2, multiplied by 0 0.4, you raise to power 3. So do that and tell me the probability that x is less than or equal to not, not equal to x is less than 3. We will add those probabilities. We will add those probabilities.
everywhere. Okay, so, so you, you can attempt uh, question 17 together with another one that is here. Yeah, this one of uh, December 2014, question 3B. Sorry, question 5B. December 2014, question 5B. December 2014, 5B. Let's look at poison probability distribution. Poison probability distribution. And write that this is used where the following characteristics exist. This is used where the following characteristics exist. One, the experiment relates to a discrete variable. <laughs> Experiment relates to a discrete but number two events occur within a short period of time. Events occur within a short period of time. Three, each short period, each short period is an independent trial. Each short period is an independent trial. Four, The average occurrences of events, brackets, rapture. The average occurrences of events, brackets, rapture, within the short period is known. Within the short period is known and remains constant. And remains constant. Then down the line that the computations are exposed. Probability that x is x is given as e raised to minus raptor. Raptor is for x out of x factorial. X bar is the mean, okay. and if you're asked to get the variance of the standard deviation, which is still that. I needed to say E is 2.7182. So you get that number, and if you want to get it from the calc, okay? we normally say you press shift, 
Then you press uh, where there is E X. Then you press one. Then you press equals. But I normally find students having trouble with this, so I prefer to cram the number as it as it is. So we look at question 18. During a normal day, the average number of rollies arriving to a road at the depot is three per hour. What is the probability that in India hour more than four rollies will arrive? So the first thing when you are dealing with these questions is to know your mean. So in this question, the mean arrival is uh, three. An hour. Then you get to know your x. X to now is more than four. X is more than four. We are talking of more than four. Now, if we are talking of more than four, then we are talking of uh, five or six or this one now in the area of infinite. Infinite means a no number. We do not know how many lorries can pass in that point. Now, because we do not know, this will be easier handle that one minus probability that x is zero, one, two, three, four. It will be easier handle that. One. So, Sasa, probability that x is zero. In the we are not using E, so you just write this number 2.7182, you raise power minus 3, multiplied by 3, you raise power 0, you divide this by 0 factorial. I think for the interest of time, this is on the just so that we design even the other one. Probability that x is 1, which is 2.7182 raised power minus 3, times 3 raised power 1, 1 factorial. I have probability that x is 2, which is 2.7182 raised power minus 3, times 3 raised power 2. Two factorial probability that x is three is uh, two point seven one eight two raised to power minus three multiplied by three raised to power three three factorial probability that x is equal to four is two point seven one eight two Raise for minus three, uh, raise for four, out of four factorial. So, Sasa, Okishama is at the probability that x is greater than four will be one minus. So, you will copy up that point. You will copy that point. You will copy that point. You will copy that Uh, the next one we are told that Pearson's engineering limited must produce bolts and other items. The machine shop contains a number of machines. The average number of machine breakdowns per hour is two. One machine maintenance engineer is attached permanently to the shop, but calls for assistance when there are more than two breakdowns in any one hour. During our 20 hour week, how often will he call for assistance? So again, the first thing is to know the lambda is what? The lambda in this case, we are told the breakdowns are two per hour. Two per hour. Then our X is when he calls for assistance. 
Now calling for assistance, he calls for assistance if there are more than two. So that tells you that X is more than two. More than two. So this exactly means three or four or all the others are infinite. And this is then best add on or simply add on as one minus probability that x is zero, one, two. So probability that x is zero will be equal to two point seven one eight two raised to power zero. Not raised to power zero, raised to power lambda, which is two. That is negative two. Then two raised to power zero, you divide by zero factorial by zero factorial. Then probability that x is equal to one, it will be two point seven one eight two raised to power minus two. Multiplied by two raised to power one, one factorial, and then probability that x is two will be two point seven one eight two raised to power minus two times two raised to power two out of two factorial. Shama is evil. You will then say probability of uh, x greater than uh, two. It is one minus then for one twenty hour week, one twenty hour week, the number of hours will be one twenty times the probability. If the probability of the home pattern, you have multiply one twenty because the answer is for one hour. So now number of the same power of power. Is in power. So here I answer about the half hour that for one hour. So when you are told now is one twenty hours, multiply. You do it in a period of one twenty. What a cool. This is one hour. 